Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, your friend Iggy back again. So I'm going to go on a vacation now and well, every once in a while I want to watch a movie and Netflix doesn't have everything and Redbox doesn't have everything. Sometimes, you know, I just want to buy a movie or have a movie that I might already have in my collection. I want to watch it again. And well, so what I found to be the best solution, you know, download something like the Lee Woo Blu-ray Ripper. And then that way I can rip all of my Blu-rays. It doesn't matter if they're AACS or BD Plus protected or MKV or anything along those lines. This will take care of it. So to show you guys how to use it, I'm going to go ahead and, well, open up my Zombie Land that I just bought and uh, rip it for you guys. So come over here. Let's see how it's done. All right. So first off, I'm going to go to liwu.org forward slash blue dash ray dash ripper. I'm going to go ahead and download it and install it. So I already have it downloaded. And so now I just have to read through the legal agreement. So make sure you read them all here. Accept it. And you can either choose to create a desktop icon or remove it or a quick launch icon. So I'm just going to leave that default. And of course, you can change the directory. So now I'll just click install. Pretty simple install process. All right, so now that install is complete, I'll go ahead and just click finish. And starts up the program. It also brings up the website just to let you know the installation was successful. Then it also gives you a professional media video guide. So I have kids or I want to travel or I want to do a thousand, you know, different things and I don't want to be held back by the disc or have to bring my DVD or Blu-ray drive, which by the way, this also brings DVD decryption as well. Aside from Blu-ray, I have a movie that I purchased and I want to let my kids watch it and I don't have to worry about them scratching the disc and then waste another 20 bucks on a movie that I already own or I'm going to go on a business trip and I don't want to have to carry my DVD player around. I want to have a collection of movies that I own on my drive. So this is the perfect solution. So first off, what I'm going to do now that I've downloaded it, and they give you a trial, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this key and enter my activation key. Okay, and that activation key gives me the Blu-ray Ripper and the DVD Ripper. And again, you can get that on their website. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay, so again, I have the Blu-ray Ripper and the DVD software. So right now, since I am ripping a Blu-ray, just going to go ahead and insert it into my while this is loading this is going to protect you against different type of uh, encryption like AACS AACS MKB version 2.5 MKV CSS DVD BD plus region code so you can play it anywhere you want to and play any discs you want to from any regions uh, it's going to let you also back up to M2TS or Blu-ray folders. It's gonna let you convert, copy, and backup Blu-ray and DVD discs all region free. So, you know, it gives you a lot there. All right now with my disc inserted, I'm just gonna start the Blu-ray Ripper. So add Blu-ray DVD, add from CD. Oh, here we go. Zombieland. Now it's gonna start reading the disc. Now, while it's doing that, just know it doesn't have to be a Blu-ray or a DVD burner. It could just be a reader. So with that, you can read the content onto your machine, copy it, and there you have it. So now I'm going to go ahead. I can either do main movie without all the deleted scenes and everything. But one of the reasons I bought this Zombie Land was because of the deleted scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and choose full movie. So now I click OK. It's going to start reading through all of the files on the disk. 
And don't worry, I'm not going to have you sit there with me as the entire ripping process occurs. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all of this for you. So you see right now it's reading every single track, every single extra, every single deleted scene, every single bit of that Blu-ray disc or DVD disc. In this case, it's a Blu-ray. All right, that didn't take too long. So now with all of this right on here, we're not done yet. That's a lot of stuff. Now, we do have the ability to change what kind of output we want. We can leave it MP4, or maybe we can change it to XVID MPEG-264. Leave it the original resolution, or lower it. Smart match, original original for bit rate, frame rate, and aspect ratio. We can change the audio if we want to as well. You know, we have a ton of different options here. So we're gonna go ahead, just leave this as default as well. So right now it's at normal. You know what, I want best. So we'll go ahead and select the best setting. Then we can do custom. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And now I'm gonna click convert the file to and that's fine I'll just leave it there for now and that goes ahead and you'll notice every single file that we're doing here is gonna get a little slider here to tell you just how long it's progressed ripping so right now we can see we're close to 1% the size of this file is 6.17 gigs that's why it's taking a little bit longer here but then you'll notice there's a 72.11 meg, 1.4 gig, and so on. So some files will take a little bit longer than other files. All right, so now that we're done, we'll just go ahead and click Finish. And now that's made every single file into an MP4 file. So if we wanted to, we can open up File Explorer, go to Documents, then we'll go to Liwu, Professional Media, Zombieland, being what we recorded. So whatever you recorded will be the name of that movie. And then you'll find everything here. So the main one is that 6.02 gigabyte file, which is the entire movie. The rest of the stuff is all the extra chapters and all the extra cutscenes, deleted scenes, maybe all the other definitions. So everything's right here. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and close this out, you can just select all of these files and then click merge all files to one. And rather than it be, you know, a thousand different ones, it could be all in one MP4. So after that, we can burn that onto a Blu-ray. We can just simply click over here, File Explorer again. We'll go to Documents, Liwu, Professional Media, and you can make a shortcut, Zombieland. So then we can just click here to add the video, add video. Now we'll go to that Zombieland that adds the video, and then we can click burn and that's going to burn it to a blu-ray now if you wanted to copy a blu-ray for example in my case where if i buy a movie i always like to copy it this will save me a step i can copy the movie then when it's done copying pop in the blank and then it'll copy that to the drive rather than wasting time ripping it to mp4 or to another format and then burning it back to disc okay so then i can go to download and then I can go ahead and download YouTube videos and such.
then here gives you instructions on how to download them. It's not only a Blu-ray ripping software, it also allows you to download videos as well. And then here shows you the movies you've already downloaded or the videos you've already downloaded. So when you first download and install this, all of this is going to be trial. Now what I've shown you is what I've registered, the Blu-ray Ripper and the DVD Ripper. But again, you are able to try the software before you buy it. And then coming up over here to Options, we can see all the different options. General, we can choose our language. Conversion, we can enable or disable the priority native codec, enable streaming MP4 video, enable DVD navigator, and then the max run. Copy and burn. Here it's going to show you the default video mode, which for me is NTSC, but you know you can also use PAL. And then over here, you are able to select the source region code or all the files download to. Enable GPU acceleration or disable GPU acceleration. If you're using a proxy, you can enable that here. And then the file direction, default encoding, and where you save your screenshots to and the format of those screenshots. Well, that's about it for now. This is Iggy again showing you the Liwu Blu-ray Ripper Sweet. Iggy up. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.